Hello YouTube, I'm the Lock here from school, and today I am reviewing the ASG M15 SIR system. Um, this is the Sportline version, just so you know. Anyway, in the box, get some BBs, a cleaning rod, and a well written manual. So, that's kind of cool. You also get 350 round high cap magazine and a foregrip and the gun itself anyway the uh, gun the back six position stock standard pretty cool the gun itself is mostly made from nylon fiber um, it does feel sturdy so no problem there of course, it makes the gun a lot cheaper. Um, it's very cheap, this gun, which is pretty cool. Good for beginners. Um, it has a flip up rear, rear side. The side is adjustable for windage right here, and it has. Uh, both the day and night apertures and to put it down again you just put it down like that <laughs> yeah magazine release is a little sensitive on this one um, it's alright, as long as you know what you're doing. It has a full rail cover. It actually has this uh, big ass weird rail thing on the front. Um, this is the SIR thing. I don't remember what SIR stands for. But on the website it said it was some kind of Navy SEAL thing, so who knows. Um, anyway, the battery is right in here. There are on both sides of this thing. There are screws. One right here. You just have to turn it. It pops out. And the same on the other side. And you just go forward and down to take it off there actually is quite a bit of room in there a little more than standard M4 Ford grips I'm running a 7.4 volt uh, lithium polymer battery in this one and it runs quite okay you can um, a detail I really love is the fact that the fake gas tube is visible right there that's really cool that's a really nice detail that many well that some manufacturers forget but okay the front side just standard M4 style front side I really can't determine if this is metal or plastic I think it is metal the outer barrel is metal though and I think the flash hydra is uh, might be plastic doesn't really matter anyway something that I found kind of interesting is that there's no fake bolt in it um, personally this doesn't bother me I usually take out the fake bolt anyway so doesn't really matter the gearbox is metal. The cylinder right here is very smooth. It's I don't really know what material this is. I don't think it's aluminum and I, don't, I know it's not brass. Might be chrome or something, who cares. Anyway, hop up right here. Hop up chamber is plastic. So, that's all right. Yeah. Something that I found kind of interesting 
was let's see what we can see here that it's not that this thing might break I know I'm gonna break it eventually but shit happens so it's alright and for those of you who love trademarks this gun is absolutely filled with them trademarks everywhere personally I'm not so much into that but it's alright who cares um, the specs of this gun I think if um, the box says it shoots at 367 feet per second with a 0.2 gram BB which is 112 meters per second for those of you who care so yeah um, I have fired this gun and I actually do like it um, it fires decently and it's well priced so I'd definitely recommend it um, either for players who need their first gun or people who just need a second one to loan to other people oh yeah I also bought a red dot site for it I just couldn't help myself Let's see here oh, there we go that is awesome Yeah. Alright, let's get shooting. Alright, so that was the shooting test. Um, I really wasn't shooting at anything, I was just getting a feel for it. Um, I actually did like how it fired. And the trigger response was decent for, for what you would expect, and the rate of fire was also what you'd expect from a sport line gun. So, something I forgot to uh, tell, touch on was the fact that the inner barrel, I don't think you can see it, no, but the inner barrel is brass, which is kind of nice, uh, I've seen them in aluminum on other sport lines and the brass is just better, okay, that's just how it is, so, anyway, I hope you liked this review, thanks for watching.